All our systems now come with the new Flexi Tank Pro from Autopot. A great design as you can see. White material keeps the nutrient solution much cooler. And the base has a rigid circle and the top also has a rigid circle which makes the tank much sturdier. First thing to do, take the tap, keep one washer on the tap, insert into the hole and just leave it shy from the top facing upwards, put the washer and nut on the back and this can later be turned upright when you have some water in the tank. Now you can insert the support poles into the tank. Place one into the bottom in the slot and feed the other pole through the hole in the top and then you can put the lock nut on to hold the tank in position. Fill the tank with water so it is above the tap and then turn the tap to face upright and to seal. You can now set the grow pots and header pot out into position on your floor ready to connect them together. The pots come fitted together with the grommet inserted so just make sure these face towards the centre. When you connect the large pipes make sure to leave the washer on the white fitting insert into the pot and place the back nut on inside. Tighten all the nuts with the tool provided and when you think you have them tight just use both hands to get that last turn. This completes the main body of the system. You can now connect the drain lines to the system. Dip the end of the pipe in some warm water and first fit it to the header pot. And then connect it to each of the grey pots. You can now lay the main air line between the pots and place the pipe work under the pipe of the header pot. Then using some warm water again, dip the ends of the air line and you can connect it to the main line and feed them through the holes in the top of each pot. Connect the 100mm air stones to the air lines and seat them in the centre of the pot. The air stone in the header pot should be placed in front of the pump. To complete the air system you just need to connect the pump. There is a non-return valve fitted, so this allows the air pump to stay seated on the floor. Now connect the recirculation line from the header pot to the rear of the system. The nutrient solution is recirculated from the header pot. The pump pumps the solution to the rear of the system and this tap can be used to control the flow. Also on the front of the pump there is a filter fitted which should be removed regularly and cleaned. Connect the top up line to the float in the header pot and also to the tap on the bottom of the flexi tank. Make sure the tap is kept closed until you wish the system to automatically top up. To complete all the pipe work, finally fit the drain line onto the rear of the header pot. The system is now ready to fill. 
can now fill the tank with water to mix in your nutrients. If using a hose from a tap, you can feed the hose into one of the ports to ensure it doesn't fall out while filling. The tanks are clearly marked on the inside so you can see how much water you have. Every Trident system is supplied with an MJ1000 pump and some black flexi pipe and this can be used to mix the nutrients into the water and also to fill the system much quicker. You can drop the pump into the bottom of the tank and feed the line through one of the portholes in the top of the tank, turn the pump on and it will recirculate the nutrients in to mix it quicker. Then you can take the pipe out, place it into the header pot and fill the system much quicker. Fill the system so the net pots are submerged with about 2 cm of nutrient solution. To automatically top up the system, refill the flexi tank with more nutrient solution and simply open the tap at the bottom to allow it to pass through to the header pot. Once the plants have become established in the system and roots have submerged into the bubbling water, you can then lower the level of the float switch so the system isn't always as full. The drain lines both have taps fitted and these should be kept closed when the system is in recirculation. When you wish to drain the system you will need to open both of these taps. The drain pump is fitted in the rear of the header pot and this is connected to the pipework and tap on the outside of the header pot. With the tap kept closed it cannot drain so when you wish to drain the system simply open the tap, plug the pump in and turn it on. The drain line can be placed into a tank or bucket or you can extend it and run it to a bath or drain. We recommend you drain down the system at least once a week and refill it with fresh nutrient solution. Simply close the tap on the flexi tank, shut the system down and then you can open the three drain taps. and turn the drain pump on to empty the system. When you're finished draining the system, make sure to close the taps before you refill the system again.